Hi, you are watching Kolsky Drones. Welcome back. Today we're going to do a review of something a bit different. The Ehang Ghost Drone V2 VR, controlled by goggles. Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Ehang Ghost Drone V2 VR. I don't know if you've seen one of these before. So it's basically a 4K drone controlled by a phone or a tablet uh, with a difference so you get the drone and you get these goggles okay so the goggles have a 2.4 antenna on the top and a 5.8 gig antenna the goggles connect to your phone or in my case the tablet and then the goggles then connect to the drone so it's got it's 2.4 gig it's not using Wi-Fi it's only using the Wi-Fi signal between the goggles and the iPad that's in your hand in my case sounds strange yeah it is so you can control it a couple of ways so this is the app when you go into it and it's got various settings on it so if you go touch and go it's going to tell me the map isn't connected because I've not got my data turned on. Just bear with me one second. So let me turn on my mobile data. Cancel that. Oops, mobile data. On. Go back into the drone app. Okay, if we were outside, we would now get a map. Because I'm inside, I haven't got the GPS, but you'd get a map. And simply, you touch on it somewhere, touch on it again in another part of the map. So it, there's your location, touch there, it will fly to there at a predetermined height. Which you can adjust, you can yaw it, and you can also adjust your gimbal. Video, and take photos. So your photo quality is set at high on this, so video, I've got mine set at 2.7k at 30 frames a second. You can adjust it and have it right up to 4k 24, 4k 30 frames a second. Or you can go down to, turn the video on there. It will automatically start recording when you take off. Your photo resolution is at 12 megapixels. And you can go right down to 1080, 120 frames a second. The video quality is actually quite decent. The only thing I have noticed is there's a bit of vibration. I think it's coming from these props, which aren't the best props. So I need to get some. These are the Eang props you get with it. So I need to get some better props for it. Um, to go back into this. And you've got avatar mode. Now, avatar mode, when I have it in this position here. if it, When it connects up, it would also give me on here... Uh, another joystick to pull from a throttle and you fly it there you go I've got a connection I've actually got a GPS now so let's come up with my map so if I wanted to set off I'd, when, it, when it's got the full signal of the GPS and it allows itself it'll have a set off button hit start it'll take off to a predetermined height it'll have a pause button on here that I can pause at any time and it will pause its height it will just stay exactly where it was in the air and again you can adjust its height and the gimbal from here when it's in the air and it's flying to fly it you do this so forward backwards left right and yaw it's surprisingly intuitive again I don't like playing with phones so this is not why I bought the drone so if I go but I go into select flight mode again and this is why I bought it it's one of the best waypoint ones I've seen because it is dedicated for waypoints that's its main feature so when you get into this again it would have a start button and I could plot up to 40 waypoints um, I can adjust its height at that point and everything else I'm sorry it's not getting a thing because I'm not getting the full signal sorry about that I'm not getting the full GPS because I'm not outside and it's getting dark now but you would normally get that then you can plot all your waypoints, determine your height you want to set off at, hit the button, 
and off it goes. It'll fly around, it'll come back to you and when it's done it'll start coming down and you've got, when it comes down it gets so far from the floor it stops, you've got, you'll have a land button, you just hit the land button and it lands. Um, what I would say at that point is you need to have it and set off from a flat area because it will come back to where you set off and it will land where you've virtually set off. It's got about five or six feet either way so make sure it's on a flat plane and it will just come down and land. Uh, or your option is if you don't think it's going to come down in the right place or you're not too sure the simple thing is when it's hovering just above you if you grab it by the top here and flick it upside down it's motors will stop. So that's the app, that's why I bought it, it's got a really good range on it. Um, you've got some other things, so you've got smart shots, which are follow me mode or a bit, all, all your usual. You click on that there, so you've got to take off in an outdoor location. It's fairly free flight check, normally it would come up and have a different set of options here for your flights. And then you've got VR mode. So VR mode basically is your flight with the goggles. So that's the app. You might be thinking, well, there's no, how do I see where I'm flying? Because you have the goggles. So you have the goggles on, and especially when you've got it in waypoint mode, you just put the goggles on and you can see what it sees. Um, these are probably similar quality to the better the teleporters. Uh, they're probably a similar quality to something just above a bit, probably the V5 teleporter with a slightly bigger image. Um, they do work on anything else, you can use them as normal FPV goggles, but they've only got single antenna. It looks like it's not diverse because obviously remember one side is for your 2.4 and one is for your 5.8. You've got a menu on the front, on the top, which is like everything else, you can adjust everything up and down. Um, you can adjust your contrast, your colour and all the rest of it. You've got plus and minus set to adjust your up and down on your band, on your channels. And then you've got a channel search. If you hit that, it'll auto search. The cool, is, the cool thing on here, if you hit the view switch, it'll change the view in the goggles to the view coming from your head because it has got a camera built into the front. I don't know if you can see it there. So it has the camera built into the front. The goggles are comfortable. So we've got a nice strap on them. And the image is actually decent that you can see you won't be able to see it i think but i've tried doing this before you can never oh, you can actually pick it up so let me just move that out of the way and see if i can give you a image of what it sees you can probably see that can you i don't know if you can see that the camera's at the front on this thing i don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's never the best is it for doing that you can buy some things to do that but i don't know how you do it so this is the quad so the quad is quite heavy and it's noisy. I will say it's noisy and I think again that's down to the props. Um, it's made by a company called Ehang. It's actually a very nicely made finished off piece of kit. The gimbals under here can be told that but it's also got head tracking. So the goggles have head tracking so you can turn the head tracking on on the goggles and obviously control the gimbal from your goggles so you can go up and down um, and slightly left and right. It is a three axis gimbal and it is very stable. So it takes the proprietary battery as you can see and it's got a screen in the front telling you percentage and if you click it again it'll tell you your cell state per cell. Uh, and how many milliamp hours are left in the battery. Like I said, it is a proprietary battery. Um, you can't use anything else but their batteries and their batteries are quite expensive. But it does come with a battery obviously when you buy it. It comes with a spare set of props, um, a set of guard, um, prop guards, and the goggles obviously, and the goggle case, which is quite a nice case actually. It's your typical type, fat shark type thing. And the all goes back in there, and this is what you have. So the camera is a 4K camera, it's best if you're recording 2.7, I'm going to add some footage, insert some footage in, into the video at 4K and some footage at um, 2.7, 14, 40 and 
you can see what it's like. And I'll say the only thing you can slightly spoil the video is the props because there is a bit of vibration coming from these props. Um, I don't think it's anything to do because I've tried doing different things down here on the gimbal and it appears to be the props that are causing the vibration. The strange thing about it is obviously the battery goes in the front which is not which is abnormal from normal quads these days and you've got a 5.8 gig antenna on the back you can change it out and put a better one on I'm happy with the one that's on it but I probably will if I want to do a longer range stick something better on it um, I think the 9 inch, it runs on 9 inch, I think the 9's, yeah 9 inch props um, similar size to a Phantom but these aren't self tightening, they do have a a nut underneath to tighten up um, the crazy money new, I think, well, if you look around, people are quoting crazy money. They were very expensive when they came out, about six, seven hundred quid. I paid 240 for it from eBay, brand new, in his box. Um, and for 240 quid, it was definitely worth a punt. I like it, it's something different. I like camera drones, and it's something totally different than I've ever had before. Something different to try out. I'm not saying you should get one. I just wanted to do a quick review of it and show it to you. Um, show you something different because it is different than most things on the market. Um, the str and it, one strange thing about it is you can either buy an Apple version or an Android version. For some bizarre reason they only put the protocol inside the drone to connect to one thing at a time. So you can only connect to the Apple with this one. This is an Apple one. And you get the Android one and the Android one will only connect to an Android. They won't do vice versa. This will not connect to an Android and the Android version will not connect to an Apple strange but it's the way they did it so as I say I'll insert some video footage of it fly um, video footage of it flying you can see what the image looks like um, but for the money I think it's great the goggles are decent and it's something different it's quite immersive when you're flying it with the goggles on and if you're flying it in the avatar mode which is where you control it with your controller you can fly it perfectly fine with that because anywhere on your screen on your left hand side I think it is will become the throttle, will become the throttle so you can go up and down you don't need to bother about having your finger in exactly the right place it doesn't matter so that's it quick review just wanted to go through it quickly with you so you could see what it was it's something a bit different I've had it for a bit now I meant to do a review on it earlier completely forgot uh, I haven't flown it for a little bit I need to give it a fly so yeah um, I, li I like it, would have recommend it, 250 quid probably, anything more than that, no. But for someone to have a bit of fun with and something different, it's worth a punt. Thanks very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. Um, and I'll see you soon, have a fantastic day.